evening, chair by the lamp, in my hands an old book of Ptolemaic inscriptions, vellum spine and marble boards, beautifully printed on hand-made paper. The matter, formulaic high-flown titles, fulsome praise and flattery. How glorious the Ptolemies, strong and wise, everything they did a sounding epic. The women of that illustrious line, half goddesses, Berenice and Cleopatra. Having hunted down the references I required, just before closing the volume I noticed a mention of Caesarion. At that name there came a flutter to my heart, the eyes of vision opened, you were there, standing before my chair, lightly garbed, weight resting on one leg, staring forward like a living statue. We know almost nothing about you, but I have created by truly mystic art and contemplation of all the wide world's beauty, an archetypal image, a magic being. Late last night, as the light in the lamp flickered and died, I let it go out. As the flame faded, your imago formed, your eidolon glowed before me, shimmered. I shivered with longing, adoring your shape and face, your immaculate conjured presence in my room, looking as you did in Alexandria, standing before the conquered people, your people, as the Roman came, your coal bright eyes a little tired, trembling slightly at the naked knee, hoping he would be merciful. Had I been Octavius and you waiting there, I'd not have complained of too many Caesars.